her the picture of her, what she looked like. You know, just 17 years old. I hadn't heard her sing. We're sitting in the room, so I had to change the key of the song. I had an MPC uh, at the time. Uh, yeah, MPC 60, right? And so she was sitting there, and I was like, hey, how's this key? She didn't even sing a word. So I hadn't heard her sing. We're getting ready to cut the vocal, right? So I'm turning the dial, and she's like, just sitting there in her head. She's like, higher. I'm like, oh, okay, click. And she's like, no, higher. I'm like, okay, click. She's sitting there, and she's like, higher. And I'm like, oh, damn. I'm like, click, click. And she's like, just one more. I'm like, okay, click, right? And she's like, yeah, that's good. I was like, all right, right. Now, at the time, I just finished my vocal booth. So I was like, okay, well, let's go in there and try it. The first take. I mean, let's let's just try and see what we got. Cause I still hadn't heard her sing yet. And what were you using to record back then? Adats. Oh. I was using the Lisa's Adats. I had four of them sing together at the time. Right? So before we get back to the story, how many records did that album sell? Oh my God. Uh, I think we're moving towards 11 million right now. Yeah. Amen. But, yeah. yeah. So, so don't complain about the gear. You know? The gear doesn't even matter, right? Yeah, the gear doesn't, you know. So I'm like, okay, let's go in the vocal booth. And you gotta understand, I'm sitting there like, oh my God. So this is an example of a bad attitude. Bad attitude. <laughs> but she didn't see it though, right? But in my head, I'm thinking, does she even know the song? Because she had gotten the song already, right? Now let me tell you something. The song I did on that uh, Genie in the Bottle record is called So Emotional. And the first verse on that record, if you hear it right now, that is her first take. It was so incredible. She sang through the whole song. And afterwards, I went, I was on my boat with my fingers on the glass, just looking <laughs> jaw drop. And she turned back into the little 17-year-old girl, like, what? what? <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Is something wrong? But she knew she didn't, right? She knew she killed it. And she came out and I was like, oh my God, I didn't know what to do, right? And I had her for three days. It was, it was a three day session, but we finished it in a day. And then we would just go to Wendy's because she loved Wendy's and Frosty's. And, um, you know, talking about Mark McGrath from Sugar Ray. So anyway, <laughs> but we cut that. I was gonna do that and, and I didn't have time to do come on come on over because I was gonna do that one also. But I wanna bring Rob in into how what happened, right? So oh, no. I got her. So the writer exact and Ron Fair, if you knew Ron Fair, he is one of the most intimidating dudes. <laughs> like he's intense. So Ron calls me and he goes, okay, who do you want to mix the record? There was nothing else different in his voice. I said, hey, I want my guy Rob Shirelli to mix the record for me. He goes, are you sure? I'm like, oh shit, I, I think I'm sure. You know, he goes, well, I, 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 you know, I can get anybody, I can get Mick Gazowski, you know, he's just talking fast at me like that. And I'm like, uh, no, 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 I want Rob to do it. I'm like, right, so I hang up the phone. I'm like, okay, okay. Now oh, that's loyalty, y'all. Yeah. That yeah. is your son. <laughs> so, Two days later, he calls me up again. Are you sure about this guy, Rob? Are you sure? I'm like, why you gotta get this, get this question? I'm like, this is like putting pressure on me, right? Because at the time, I didn't know who was on the record. I had just done my song, right? So I was like, yep, I wanna go with Rob. So we set it up at Pacifique, right? And so Rob, I go in, Rob, I give him the files, he has me come in. I come in. And I said, hey man, Ron Fair is gonna meet us here in an hour or so. Ron's like, hey man, I hear he's pretty intense. I said, well, he is, but if you give him what he likes or what he needs, then it's gonna all be good. And he goes, okay, okay. And I swear to God, this is what happened, right? And Ron's gonna back me up on this. Ron Fair comes in. And you know, we're sitting there, I'm the new producer, Rob is sitting there, I'm like shaking and sweating. Like, sweat. It's like, you don't even understand, just his presence walking into the room. It's like, oh shit, here we go. So he comes in, he sits at the board, at the SSL, he goes, okay, turn that light down, turn that light down, give it to me on the speakers, where's the volume? I mean, just like this here. And Rob slid over, and I slid over to the right, and he's sitting in the, mirror, in the middle, and he's like, okay, boom, 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 he brings the lights all down, and he hits play, and he puts his head down, and 
he's rocking to it. I'm sitting over here, you know, rocking. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's sitting on this side, rocking. Like, you know, you're chatting like, okay, we don't know what's on his mind. The record gets to the end. It goes off. Ron looks up, and he's like crying. He's like, oh my God, it sounds so good. Am I lying, Rob? I am not lying. He's like, this is, this is. Fucking incredible. <laughs> this is incredible. Rob is over there looking at me. I'm looking at him. <laughs> you know, like, take me now, Lord. Take me now. <laughs> this is it. This is it. He's like, oh my God. He goes, what the fuck? This is so good. This is so good. He said, you got the reverb. You got her vocal sound. It's so great and amazing. He's like, great. He goes, just finish it up. Give me these mixes and come on down to, uh, I forgot the other studio where Diane Warren was. But, but just giving you an idea of what happened. So that's yeah. That's the story. Woo.